So if you're still hitting slice returns, you might as well be giving your opponent topspin. Here, Ryan, have some topspin. Oh, thanks, Shane. So have you ever found yourself getting crushed by these tennis players that are hitting dipping, dipping drives? They're coming at you. Maybe you get it back and then you pop it up and they shake and bake you, point over. Well, here's the thing. You gotta stop giving them their topspin. So if you're still hitting slice returns, you might as well be giving your opponent topspin. Here, Ryan, have some topspin. Oh, thanks, Shane. <laughs> So in order to show what's happening to your paddle, I'm gonna demonstrate with a basketball. If we toss it forward with topspin, it's going to kick away from us. Backspin's gonna do the opposite, of course, once it hits the ground. So most of us understand what happens when this spin hits the ground, but now, what about when it hits your paddle? Imagine this is the pickleball and this is your paddle. When I toss this ball at the paddle with topspin, watch which direction it kicks. Now with backspin. So topspin's hitting the wall and basically kicking upwards. Backspin's hitting the wall and kicking downwards. That's what's happening on your paddle. When your opponent gives you backspin, that ball is going to kick downwards off of your paddle and it's gonna keep spinning essentially giving your opponent extra topspin. So this is actually the exact same thing that happened with the pickleball spin serve. You're spinning the ball away from you so that you can get extra topspin on your serve or side spin. But Zane, my old coach told me that a slice helps keep the ball very nice and low. And that's true, but at what cost? Now, when we have these gritty paddles, such as the Zane Navratil Pro XR Carbon 14 millimeter available on my website, uh, you can hit upwards a lot more. This paddle is going to catch the ball a lot more than paddles previously did before the raw carbon fiber technology, which allows us to brush off of this ball more and more. So when you're providing somebody with backspin, you're really giving them tons of topspin. First, we're gonna rally where both of us are hitting topspin, and I want you to notice the shape and the arc of my shot when both of us are hitting topspin. So we're just gonna rally groundies. So now, Still had a decent amount of topspin on those shots, but now watch what happens if Ryan hits a slice to me and I hit topspin back. Watch how much more shape you can get on that ball. <laughs> Whew! <laughs> Look at that paid actor over there. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so what should we do instead of slicing our return? What we wanna do is hit a flat return or even a little bit of topspin. So on a return, we're mostly using our body weight pushing through that ball rather than chopping down on it. So we're gonna do a three shot drill where my partner serves, I return, and then they hit their third shot. So as that ball is coming in towards me, I'm gonna prep my paddle behind it, not too much backswing, and I'm really going to push forward and upwards from here. I'm using my body weight to get power rather than my swing. The nice part here as well is this is actually going to lead me to a much more consistent return because the ball is traveling to me on this angle 
and I'm matching it on the way out, as opposed to a slice where the ball is coming this way and I'm almost making an X and slicing across it. My paddle is going through the plane of that ball the whole time, as opposed to across it. Here's a slice as an example. That was actually pretty dirty. <laughs> Much more difficult to time and hit accurately when you do that. The drill that we're gonna do is a three shot drill. I'll serve, Ryan returns, I'm gonna hit my third. Once that third shot is hit, we're just gonna catch it. Very similar to what we do in the warm up. What a snag. All right, so if you don't believe me, that's fine, but believe Ben Johns, he stopped slicing completely this year. Before this year, he was slicing his backhand almost exclusively. Now, you can hardly ever see him hit a slice return in doubles or singles. It is all flat, and the majority of pro players are doing the same. So stop giving your opponent topspin and it'll make their drives a lot less effective. It'll make your returns of serve much, much better as well. So if you wanna learn from me in person, you can check out pickleballclinics.net. That's where I have my teaching programs. And then I also co-founded a company called My Journey Pickleball, which gives personalized instruction to you online. All you have to do is submit video clips of yourself playing and myself and other pro instructors will review your film and help you improve your pickleball game. So link in the description to both of those things. Hope to see you there. If you liked today's video, please feel free to share it with a friend and make sure to subscribe. It helps me out and helps me grow my channel.